This is a tool for creating two-dimensional terrain using Unity. I've built it into the uh, game object menu here. You can just drag down to the terrain stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you the physical terrain first. Um, it pops up with a list of materials. Now these are stuff that you'll have to define previously beforehand. And I'll, I can talk about that sometime later. But you can just pick one of them out and it'll create you know a real basic thing for you to work with here. Um, you can drag these around, no problem. You can add points to them, um, add extra detail here. Um, now, one of the cool things here is that when you tilt them enough, they'll start to change into different pieces. Um, you can see that. So I've got the, the side edges there, which is really pretty sweet. Um, I also have, if you hold down the Shift key, that'll let you add in a point really quickly. So it'll let you create geometry really fast, which is really nice. Um, and I've, I've got, it does pretty well with uh, concave stuff as well. So you can see here, I can carve this out and it does just fine by itself right there. You can see straight up there, a little cave in here. So it's, it's pretty flexible as far as that's concerned. So it, it really makes you um, create levels pretty quickly here. Um, I can remove them. If I hold down control, that'll just let me remove pieces here from the <laughs> from the path. And yeah, there's a bunch of options over here in the menus. I'm, I'm still working on some of these. Uh, they're not necessarily the most friendly, but getting there. You can turn off the fill if you don't want that. Just maybe decorative or whatever. Um, now, this also generates colliders. You can see here there's a green line. Um, if I go to the collider, expand this one. I have a surface offset. This lets you manipulate where the collider is in relation to the path itself. That way, you know, if you want to line it up with the, the base of the path itself, like maybe visually it doesn't quite work with the, the line exactly. Um, so you can tweak that a little bit. And it doesn't generate the colliders here. Um, it only generates the colliders on run. So when you run that, switch over to scene here, you can see there it's got a collision mesh. And uh, so I'm, I'm working on some optimizations for that to make sure that it's really fast, but that, that should be a pretty decent start. Um, uh, as far as efficiency in drawing goes, I can do, um, you know, it does about two draw calls for each of these. Um, and it'll cut down a little bit from there. I'm, I'm still tweaking that. Um, let's see if I can get it better, but it's, it's not that bad. Um, and yeah, check that out. Decorative terrain. I'm gonna pick the other one. And same sort of thing. This one doesn't have edges defined on it, so um, if I start doing concave stuff, it doesn't actually switch to a different material there. It just keeps going, um, which that could be useful too. So, um, and I'll have more on the, the materials later because I'm, I'm still working on those a little bit, but they're, they're pretty much done. So, yeah, thanks for watching.